Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I'm sure you guys know, and if you don't, uh, Path of Exile Delve, the new league, comes out in about one week. Uh, and of course, I will be playing it if you guys are not aware, even though I don't always post Path of Exile related content throughout the entirety of the leagues. I do always check out their three months leagues, with the exception of Tempest. I'm sorry, I really did not like Tempest. Uh, but Path of Exile Delve actually has a really interesting twist to it. So let's go ahead and look in a little bit as to what is going to be inside this. I have glanced at this, you know, since it's been it's been teased now for a week or so, but I haven't really went through everything about it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and skim through because I know this is pretty much old content for you guys. Um, so TLDR, essentially Delve. Uh, and their latest expansion includes an infinite dungeon, socketable currency items, as well as a bunch of new unique items and skill gems and blah 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 blah. So one of the cool things about Path of Exile, um, I kind of get bored of genres just like most of us do. Um, Path of Exile being, you know, hack and slash action role playing game. And one of my favorite things to do is play roguelikes, you know. Roguelike, for example, like Binding of Isaac, Risk of Rain. You just pick up a controller, you jump on, you know, your, your uh, computer, play the game for 45 minutes, die, restart again, etc. Well, Path of Exile sort of is like that, but it doesn't, you know, you do die, especially in hardcore, and you gotta restart all over again. Uh, but this kind of adds an infinite dungeon, and I don't really know anything about this, I just saw a little bit of some teasers. So, left untouched for over 250 years, the Azurite Mines uh, have, let's see, has been consumed by a malevolent darkness that cast out the Eternal Empire. Nico, an inventor, has harnessed the power of Voltaxic Sulfite to create a machine called the Crawler that can pierce the darkness. Delve into the mine, but don't leave the Crawler's light for long or you'll be crushed by the darkness. Um, so you can kind of see the indicator, I think, here. Is it going to pop up? It looks sort of like a breach style. Um, and I'm guessing, you know, you want to stay and, um, and basically you're going to stay in the light. So one of the cool things I saw in one of the video trailers... Oops, I didn't actually click that. I'm not actually going to play Ashes of Creation just yet. Actually, I will be checking that game out, but not right now. Let me go back to it. Let me see if I can get you guys the trailer for it. Or did I miss it? Did I miss the trailer? Oh, it's right here. Just kidding. Here you guys go. Let's watch this together, boys. Let's hold hands. I didn't fart. I just moved my chair. I promise. Exile? You should be. The darkness in this mine is alive. It's hateful. It's hungry. No light could lift this dark veil. Until... So I just really want to quickly interrupt that uh, there are some really cool things that they've been doing uh, with the game. I slowly have been uh, kind of, oh, well I'd have to go back here. I've been kind of paying attention to a few of the updates that Path of Exile has been kind of like uh, pushing towards. So like one of them is they um, made it so instant cast skills actually work. They actually have changed the entire like global illumination. I think here we go. Global illumination and point light shadowing. That's basically if you go, if we go back and look at incinerate over here. We're not incinerate. Sorry, scorching ray. Let's go back right here. This is kind of what we're gonna see now. Um, I really have to say that this this update visually seems like one of the biggest visual updates they've done in a long time. The game looks very well polished and very clean. You can see that like just casting the Scorching Ray kind of lights up the area around it. And it kind of just really gives you a better immersion into the game. 
Uh, one thing I noticed with me personally, kind of off tangent, part of the reason why I get bored of Path of Exile sometimes is I guess it's hard to get absorbed and immersed into the game when things kind of just start to annoy you. And obviously, you know, you play any game for five years, it's gonna annoy you after time. But these are kind of updates that I really personally enjoy. The quality of life updates that a lot of people kind of oversee, um, I kind of really, really enjoy updates like these. They make it like, such a such a more pleasurable experience, I guess you could say. And this is kind of the um, roguelike system I was kind of talking about earlier. How you get like consumables, you get to kind of go on your little adventure, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of really excited for it. after this? In Path of Exile Delve, oh. you will explore the Azurite JK. Mine, a pitch black, infinitely deep dungeon. To pierce the darkness, you will need to find Voltaxic Sulfite on the surface. The Sulfite powers a machine called the Crawler that generates light. The darkness of the mine will quickly kill you if you leave the light, so keep up with the Crawler. Mine is full of Azerite, a valuable resource that you can use to upgrade your equipment. There's auto pickup! I saw that! That's awesome! Use flares to stay alive while exploring the dark. Throw dynamite to blow open walls and find hidden paths. Oh, you know what I just realized? I never got to get the Automaton Heralds from last time, and I know a lot of people were upset because they looked really colorful, but look, look. There are a lot of valuable rewards in the like darkness the to tempt you, but be careful, the darkness itself is deadly. Lost civilizations deep underground created socketable currency items. Socket fossils into the currency for powerful crafting results. The Azerite mine gets harder and harder the deeper you go. Test the limits of your character in Path of Exile Delve. Looks like a very nice update. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on and talk about some of the stuff here. So, let's play. Let's turn this up a tiny bit. Azurite upgrades. Any Azurite you find in the mine can be traded to Nico at the base camp. In return, he offers to upgrade the crawler. Okay, they were explaining that earlier. You'll discover many different biomes. As you delve even deeper, you may encounter lost cities from Ray Class Dark History. Each environment has its own monsters, bosses, encounters, and rewards. Okay. Blue. We got some chaos damage, and I don't know what this is. I feel like it's not popping up, but it's okay. This is the socketable currency they were talking about. It's also pushing into the ways of solo cell found still. Um, you can basically add currency together to create an item, so, well, so, more physical mods, no chaos mods, has a corrupt essence mod, can be used on following properties, um, and then you can use said item, like this one for example, reforges a rare item with new random modifiers, more minion and aura mods, has vol mods, more lightning mods, no physical mods, and you can see here, created, Plus two level of socketed minion gems, plus the max mana, my, or plus lightning res. 15% chance to gain an additional vol soul on kill, and nearby enemies have minus lightning resistance. Extremely strong, actually. 
The Infinite Depths, the Azure Mine in Path of Exiles, uh, is Path of Exiles first infinite dungeon. The deeper you delve, the harder the game gets. In Delve, you'll find encounters that are much harder than endgame maps where, you, where your progress is only limited by the power of your character. Okay, and then there's going to be a ladder track. I'm scared that this might turn into, like, greater rifting, but, you know, we don't have to worry about Diablo 3 at all. Uh, new and revamped skills. So, Path of Exile, Delve, let's see. Delve includes 10 new powerful... Uh, wait, po 10 powerful, new or completely reworked skills centered around two character archetypes, the Guardian and the Pathfinder. So I noticed there was a lot of changes to Guardian. I don't know if you've seen the ascendancy changes yet, uh, but they're actually making it more like potentially like an offensive, not just a pure support role. Did they show the Herald here? There is uh, there is a new Herald actually called, I don't know what it's called, but it's a physical Herald. Um, actually, I can probably find it here. Where is it? Uh, Herald of Purity. Herald of Purity is a physical damage herald uh, that will create, I think it was immune, untargetable, uh, I think there's three guys, and by killing it refreshes them rather than, um, or four guys, it refreshes them and heals them. Oh, so I guess they're not immune, sorry. Um, instead of like resummoning them and having it, you know, all over again. So let's go back. Do, 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 do. Powerful new items. Uh, a Path of Exile expansion is not complete without powerful new items to discover. Delve includes 7 new divination cards and 18 new unique items which have a focus on creating powerful new build opportunities. So that's one thing I want to talk about as well. I've noticed like for the past couple leagues, almost maybe like 3 leagues, 2 leagues, my builds have kind of been a bit boring. You know, they've kind of juggled between Righteous Fire uh, and Death's Oath and maybe 100 builds in between that I got bored of by level 70. I'm going to try really hard this go around to really enjoy myself in the game. I'm going to try to, you know, test out the new bosses. I know I typically stay away from bossing. I do really want to encounter the bosses. A lot of the times I just don't really want to lose my characters. I don't really, I'm going to just, you know, throw that out and just say dying is okay. It's acceptable. It doesn't mean you're bad at the game. It shit just happens. Uh, I'm going to go at this one with a, with a much, you know, with a smile on my face, uh, with extreme positivity, you know? I feel like I've been a, great, a bit grumpy of lately, so. One other thing I wanna talk about is, I think I'm really gonna try to push for a bow build. I saw that there's like Toxic Rain, and I think another bow skill that they released, and I really do like poison theme stuff. I may stick with the Occultist theme because I think ES Recharge is broken and fits really well with Chaos themed, but, you know, l let's try to move away from Righteous Fire. Um, and potentially Death's Oath. Even though I think Death's Oath is gonna be fucking sick for this league, I may make it later on. I will try not to make it my league starter. Maybe I'll make Vol Blight a league starter, but I'll try to stay away from Death's Oath. Just, just for like the first two weeks though. But, you know, anyway. Uh, let's take a look at this. 18% block chance, so it's got the good block base, has no sockets. 300% global damage, plus the max res and increased attack speed. Did you know that this would coincidentally be a pretty okay item for Righteous Fire? Uh, let's move on though. Uh, Cerberus Limb, let's see. You get spell damage leeches life if equipped shield has at least 30% chance to block. Interesting mechanic. Plus the maximum energy shield per five armor on equipped shield, plus five armor per five evasion, and then 20 evasion rating per five ES. Okay, very interesting weapon. It's 19 spell damage and 100... Well, that's pretty good. That's basically like 125%. Like, it's spell damage, LA damage, cast speed, leech. Pretty okay. Uh, these are one of the new maps. Unique bosses augmented by player choices. Found items have a 10% chance to drop, drop corrupted. Um, can summon up to three additional golems at a time. You cannot have non... Wait, you cannot have non-golem minions. Okay. Reduce golem size. Uh, golems deal less damage. Golems have less life. Golems have increased movement speed. This is... I know this may be a bad amulet, potentially, but this looks like a really nice amulet for me. Uh, I really disliked golems last time I played them, mainly because their AI just felt really dumb. But as I say in Path of Exile, the more units you have, you know, if a, if a couple of them are dumb, it's, it's okay, as long as... Some of them are smart, right? Like, if you've ever played zombies before, the Necromancer, you have, like, five gigantic Montreal zombies. Unfortunately, they can be slow and clunky sometimes, but you play Animate Weapon with, like, 50 blades, nothing's gonna live, man. They just all kind of go out. So this is pretty interesting. 
We blew up the first ones. Oh, a random bestiary one. Okay, bestiary, in my opinion, was crazy. I do have to say, I really liked the aspects that were in bestiary. Like, aspect of the spider. Super crazy good. Uh, time worn relic war. Oh, this is something I didn't know. In your travels across Ray Class, you may very rarely discover a time worm, time worm relic, reliquary. Uh, this will open up a portal to the time worm reliquary, which opens one of 150 unique relics from the past. So this is like legacy. Bubonic trail. Cool. Cool. All right, that pretty much covers everything. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys are really excited for the league. Let me know what you guys are going to play uh, for the actual league start. I still don't know yet. I'm going to wait for the patch notes to decide exactly what I want to play. But expect me trying out Solo Self Found at the beginning. Of course, you know, Solo Self Found Hardcore in Delve League. And we'll see pretty much where we're going to go. Uh, really fast, the first things I can cross off is I do want to play some type of bow character. I do want to play some type of poison character because I believe they even said they were redoing, not redoing, but they were changing how poison worked again. And this is good because, to be honest, ever since they introduced that new note on the tree, the one where like your crit damage is converted to your ailment damage, I don't even know what it's called. The one that's on the Carlitos Way Flask. Ever since they, they've messed with ailments like that, I just haven't touched ailments. So if they're redoing it, this is a perfect time for me to learn it again. So. Anyway, also spoiler, I may actually, I can't believe I'm saying this one, I'm going to take the headset off for this one. I may end up looking at Path of Building. Um, I know I've been against Path of Building for a long time. It's not really that I've been against Path of Building, it's that I was never really going to use it, so there's not really a point in using it, right? I was just pretty old school with my ways of theory crafting, but since there's all this new shit now, like stuff that I haven't, you know, since I don't play Path of Exile 18 hours a day anymore, Path of Building is a great tool to use, so I don't have to pull up 14 different wiki pages or all this other stuff. I can have all of my builds compiled in one spot, and organization is a pretty big issue for me sometimes. So I can't promise that one, but you know that one may be coming up in the near future as well. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Like I said before, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I hope to see you guys all in Delve League. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Also, I am working on my schedule now, so I'm streaming live pretty much about 9 o'clock in the morning central time to around 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, night time, obviously depending on, you know, what's happening. And if there's Dove League coming out, then it'll, well, it is coming out. Anyway, <laughs> for schedules, uh, I will be here playing Delve on the actual, fuck, you don't know what I'm talking about, never mind. And end video. I can't even edit that part out. <laughs> Have a wonderful time, everybody. I'll see you guys in Delvin. Six days, 20 hours, 42 minutes, and 33 seconds.